function given in the form of y as a function of x, let's say this form, is called an explicit function because the variable y is explicitly expressed as a function of x. We can rearrange the function and write it as this, where we no longer have an explicit function because in this form, we don't know which one is the dependent or the independent function. Rather, equation 1 is implicitly defined by the equation 2. So equation 2, equation 1 we say as an explicit function and equation 2 is called an implicit function. Or if we have a multiple variable, then an implicit function can be written in general as follow. Here we write capital F instead of a small letter of F, which is used when writing a general form of an implicit function. So, since we have the function which implicitly define the function below, to find the derivative of an implicit function, we find the total differential for both sides and have df equals to d0. The total differential of df is just as follow, and the total differential of 0, d0, is just equal to 0. Since the first equation defines the second, this first equation defines the second equation, we have the total differential of the second equation as follow. Now, uh, I rewrite the first equation and the second equation from the process we had got uh, previously. I rewrite it here again as the first equation as equation A and the second equation as e equation B. Now, we insert A to B where dy uh, from B is inserted into equation A. And we have this result here, A, here I differ the color. The red part indicates from equation B and the black part is from equation A. We multiply Fy with the red part and I give a different color for this part so you can follow the process. And we obtain this um, equation. And um, we now combine. We now combine the one in the parenthesis with the blue part because we have dx1 and dx1, so we combine it, dx2 with dx2, and we get this equation. We simplify further and obtain this um, form. All where all the dxi, dx1, dx2, and so on until dxn can vary independently from one another. Thus, for this equation, for the last equation to hold, the, this, uh, the, the one in the parenthesis can be written in general form, and uh, we can equalize it into zero. So this last equation um, holds because if this is equal to zero, zero times dx1 equal to zero and so on, so it will equal to zero. This holds. So furthermore, we can now we can now focus and solve this equation and have rearrange it become fy fi and fi um, we just move it to the right side and have this form. Fi here is the derivative of dy per dx. So we have Fe, Fi equals to F, Fe per Fy. And as I said before, Fe is just dy per dx equal to this. So now we have obtained the total derivative uh, of the implicit function without uh, explicitly define uh, the y and the x, we can get the derivative of dy over dx. 
So in general, for an implicit function f, uh, where the function is uh, consists of y and x, uh, we get dy per dx is just equal to minus fx per fy. And remember, fx here is the partial derivative of x with respect to x and f with respect to y. And we can rearrange it and get dx per dy. Uh, so this is, we can say that this is the general formula uh, to get the derivative of uh, an implicit function if we want to get dy per dx or if we want to get dx per dy. Uh, 